Okay, so something I try to not talk about a lot because this is something that sucks people in and is not the way I want people to think is footprints. Everyone thinks tracking, they're following footprints. No, that's not it. You follow, try to follow footprints, that's gonna take you forever. It's not an efficient or effective way to track, but it still is an aspect of spore and something that people are gonna be looking for. So let's talk a little bit about it. Right now we've got great sun. It's fairly up and down, but not too bad. You can see that the shadows are long. So when there is a footprint in this nice dust, you can see all kinds of them, all kinds of them. What we see is shadow mostly. You can see the ridges and the hollows of my footprint are casting shadows from the sun. That's what's gonna draw your eye. It's not the footprint itself, it's the shadows that are created by the ridges and hollows of the boot or the shoe that the person is wearing. So what I wanna do is I wanna track in the morning and the evening. Those are the best times to track because the sun is at an angle that creates great shadows, great lit and uh, hollow shadows. It's cloudy days and at noon where the sun is straight ahead above, doesn't create any shadow. It's very hard to track. What you can do is you can take a flashlight or you can take a, a, a mirror or any kind of light source and reflect light onto the, the footprint and create the shadows. And that way you can get the information of the footprint, how big the shoe is, how fast they're moving, how heavy the person is, what their, their, um, their pace length is. This is all the game of information. And I wanna limit all the information they get. They wanna get as much information as they can from me. So something to think of is that footprint right there in the sun is very distinct. I know there's a lot of contamination here. Contamination is any other kind of spore. See, this is not my shoe right there. Someone's got a, a I don't know, it looks like a Converse, I'm not sure. That, that track right there, the, the chevrons. It's another track right there, another shoe type right there. There's a lot of contamination here, so it's gonna be very difficult to track because there's so much, so many people have moved along this area. But right in the sun like this, that's a bad place for me to leave a footprint because there's a lot of information. The sun's at a great angle. They're gonna be able to see the shadow. They're gonna see it from, from a ways away. And if we move back a little bit, and I know what I'm looking for, I can see that from here very well because of the shadowing. So, oh, come right on there. There we go. There's our guy right there. I recognize that tread. Good stuff. We're on the right course. We keep moving. So one of the things I want them to do is constantly question, are they in the right spot? Are they tracking me or did I throw them? So the little, even if they're on my tail, the less information I can give them, the more uncertain they are of themselves. And the more I can create uncertainty in their mind and the more I can throttle their information, the better. So for me, Here's an even better place uh, as far as uh, footprints go um, for the, the dust and the dirt for me to leave a footprint, but it's in the shadow. There's no sun hitting that. So while I can still see the footprint here, there's no shadowing. So it's much difficult, much more difficult to see from a distance. It's easier to miss and it makes it much harder for them to track. So just things to think about. The light, the color change, where you put your feet, all of these things are information you're giving up. You're gonna give up some information, but you wanna control that. I wanna give them information that's not gonna give them certainty, it's gonna give them confusion, and it's gonna make them jump to hopefully the wrong conclusions and make them work. So when it comes to anti and counter tracking, counter tracking, anti tracking is leaving deceptive information or not leaving very much information. I know I'm being tracked and I'm working against you. I'm trying to keep you from being able to track me. Counter tracking is the next stage. If I'm counter tracking, I'm actively leaving countermeasures to either stop or blow you up or do something back at you. So anti and counter tracking is what I would do. If I'm gonna leave a booby trap here, one of the things I would do in Manhunt all the time is I would start leaving very distinct um, very distinct footprints that are very easy to track. And I would leave pointers and I would do color change and I would pop things off. Uh, an unconscious person will do things like this while they're walking along. You know, just playing, grabbing the plants and smelling them. And this is all, this is all spore. This is all right at the, the height where a human hand is gonna be. And I'm breaking, I'm breaking branches, I'm breaking leaves off. This is a very strong indicator of my passing. So I'm leaving lots of spore for somebody to track me with. 
because what I want him to do is I want to suck him in and get excited. We got him. Look at these footprints. This is our guy. He's getting sloppy. He's getting careless. He must be getting tired. We're getting close. We're going to take him down. But I would be thinking that's exactly what I want them to be thinking because right up there in that shadowed area, I'm going to leave a booby trap. So I want them to get excited and get their heads down and get what we call target fixated or track fixated. We're now we're like, okay, cool. Footprint. 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 Broken branch. Playing with, with plants. And now they're not paying attention to their situational awareness. They don't know what's going on around them. They're getting very excited. He's getting careless, but the reality, I've made them careless. So now they're not paying attention to their surroundings. They're following track, 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 track. Boom! Got him. Sucker. <laughs>